Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and I wanted to thank you for joining us on this Friday of the fourth week of Lent. Um, in, the, in the scriptures today, for Mass, we get a picture of why Jesus was arrested, why he was crucified, why he offered his whole self in sacrifice. You know, some people will say that it was because, well, you know, Jesus was a threat to the Roman Empire. Some people say that it was, it was a, because Jesus was, he upset the status quo. And maybe those reasons play a part. But there are a couple primary reasons. One, of course, is, is that he, he came to, to be the reconciliation between us and the Father. But there's two parts that are revealed in the readings for today's Mass. The first is that Jesus claimed to have a particular relationship with his Father. That in today's Gospel, he says he was sent by God. He was sent from the Father in other places in John's Gospel. He says the Father and I are one. That Jesus claimed to have a particular relationship with, relationship with the Father, where he and the Father are co-equal and co-eternal. The other reason is from the Book of Wisdom. In the Book of Wisdom, it's this prophecy of what it would be like to live in Christ's presence. It says he's the just one. He's the one who lives differently from, from the rest of everyone. That he always sets himself apart from the rest of people. And in fact, it's so hard to live in the presence of the just one. It, scripture says, the very sight of him is a hardship to us. Why? Because when he strives for greatness, the fact that we're, we settle for mediocrity is revealed. And if we're going to be Christians, then we have to live exemplifying these two qualities. Because as Christians, we're called into a particular relationship with the Father as well. Now, Jesus is the, the eternal son of the Father, but you and I are adopted sons and daughters of the Father. So if we live that out, then we're going to have to live differently. And if we don't live that out, then we're just going to look the same as everyone else. So how is your relationship with God, your Father? The other part is that we are also called to live differently. That if I'm a Catholic Christian and no one can tell by my actions or by how I spend my time that I am actually a Catholic Christian, then I'm not living, not living as that image, that, as that icon of Jesus in the world. I'm settling for something else. But how many Catholic Christians, how many of us, we just look like, we look like everyone else. But one of the, or two of the things that led Jesus to the cross is what was his particular relationship with the Father was the fact that he didn't live like everyone else. In, in, this, in this season of Lent, we're called to those two things, an intense relationship with the Father and to live in a new way. God bless.